Now, the Fox 61 Weather Watch with Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank. Hi everyone, congrats, you made it to Friday. I'm Fox 61 Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank here on the Weather Watch and what another day it was. Even with a cloudy start to the day, temperatures rebounded quickly, making it up around 80 degrees in the Hartford area, four degrees shy of the record and way above the average high temperature for this time of year, which is in the upper 50s. Bridgeport didn't recover as much after that cloudy start to the day, but I think even Bridgeport could see temperatures as warm as near 80 degrees heading through the afternoon tomorrow. So we've got one more day of record breaking warmth and then woo, throw your hands up in the air. We're on the New England weather roller coaster as temperatures could drop as much as 30 degrees between Saturday and Sunday. Talk about weather whiplash. Low temperatures tonight falling back into the 50s to right around 60 degrees. It's going to be a warm night. You could uh, grab a seat outside if you wanted to to eat dinner tonight heading through the day tomorrow. We are talking about sunshine from start to finish, so you do not need to worry about any clouds to start off the day. And we're looking at those high temperatures climbing into the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. Sometimes when you have a westerly wind like this, the computer models can underdo temperatures at the shoreline. So we might be able to make it to 80 degrees, even in areas like Bridgeport and New Haven. And again, I do think that we'll get close to the daily record high temperature. Taking a look at the future satellite and radar, we're going to start the day off with bright sunshine to begin the day and to finish the day. We'll begin with temperatures in the 50s. By lunchtime, we're looking at temperatures between 75 to near 80 degrees. Heading into the evening, a cold front will come through. It will come through dry, though, so we're not expecting any rain associated with it but it will act to drop those temperatures. So we're in the 40s by the time you're waking up on Sunday morning. There might be a couple breaks in the overcast early on, but I think right out of the gate we're seeing more clouds and we'll see a rising likelihood for showers or even just a period of steadier rain as we head through Sunday afternoon. So Sunday is looking wetter. If you need to do something outside, the earlier the better. And I think those showers will continue off and on right into your Monday. We are dry on Tuesday for for Halloween, so you do not need to carry an umbrella with the costumes this year, but it will be sharply cooler. We're looking at high temperatures close to 50 degrees heading towards trick or treat time, which for my family is around six o'clock and um, for kids with especially younger kids as well. That's about the time frame. We're looking at temperatures starting in the upper 40s and dropping back into the low to mid 40s as we head towards the end when you're carrying those bags back home. One thing I did want to show you, and this is kind of interesting here for next week. So we're looking at next Wednesday. We do have some rain in the forecast and there is some cool air nearby. If it takes just the right track and intensity, there is a chance that we could see a few first wet snowflakes mixing in for the hill towns as we head into your Wednesday. It's that time of year again. And if that's not making you go, huh? Well, check this out. You're looking at low temperatures here as we head through the next week or so. And look at this, a hard freeze likely as we head into Thursday morning of next week with temperatures that drop below freezing for many in the state. And it looks like below freezing temperatures will continue as we look at the extended forecast. This is the six to 10 day temperature outlook, which takes us through the beginning of November. Here's a look at your seven day forecast now. So we'll see those showers developing as we head through the afternoon, especially on Sunday. That rain will continue off and on into your Monday as well. We are dry heading into your Halloween highs near 50 degrees. We'll see that rain redevelop heading into your Wednesday. Again, maybe a few wet snowflakes in the hills. Overnight lows dipping back near or below freezing as we head into your Thursday morning. And then we'll do it again as we head into Thursday night and Friday morning. So we're going from temperatures way above average to temperatures well below average. So all in a New England week, right? Your shoreline seven day, we go from near 80 degrees on Saturday into the 50s on Sunday. And look at Wednesday of next week. High temperatures only in the 40s with a chilly, raw, rainy day in store. Yeah, you know that it is November.